Hello friends, Tony here. So I have created some uh, events and in this video when we go to when we navigate to the home page here I want to display all of the events we have. Not only my events but all the users events. And here we have an empty page because I have removed everything in the welcome and just leave the HTML5. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. I have searched in the internet and I find this card. So I'm going to display the events in this card, but you can search here or you can search everywhere and find your card, your Tailwind CSS card component and display with that card. This is simple, but I like that. Okay, first thing, let's open the VS Code and what I want is, let's navigate inside the resources, views, layouts, and I'm going to save this app layout as a main layout. I want a layout here and then use that layout in the welcome page so we can remove everything and use that. So for that, I'm going to save this as a main blade.php inside the layouts and here I'm going to remove the header and I'm going to include the mine navigation here. I'm going to create the mine navigation and the slot so let's save this. Now let's go to the navigation and also I'm going to save this as main navigation. Let's save now we are in this inside the my navigation and here I want to change something. We have the logo, we have the links and I'm going to leave it for now. We are going to change that but for now I'll just leave as it is. I'm going to remove this div here which is for the user and here we have the responsive navigation. So let's remove also this one. We have the responsive navigation for the dashboard and then we have a settings option so let's remove also this one and I'm going to clean this and let's save okay now I'm going to use this mine layout in here but before that we need to open the app view and app layout and here I'm going to save this as main layout so let's say let's say here save as and I'm going to name it main layout. Okay. Also, we need to change the class name to say main layout. And then we are going to render the view which is inside the layouts. And the name of the view is main. Like this, save, close this, close this. Now on the welcome, I'm going to use that one. So X main dash layout and let's save this and let's see on the browser now if I come here and refresh yeah we have the menu here and the logo okay now let's create a controller it's because right now we have used the closure here the welcome so let's create the controller I'm going to open the terminal inside and I'm going to say artisan make controller hit enter now the name of the controller I'm going to name it welcome 
and it's going to be invocable so let's select show here good let's close and let's see what's not now that controller in here so i'm going to say welcome controller import that and say class here and also i'm going to give it a name to be welcome good save this one and now let's open the welcome controller uh, we don't need the request here so let's remove the request also let's remove here and i'm going to say first i'm going to get all the events so let's say dollar sign events to be equal with event model and import that and i'm going to say with a relationship of a country because i'm going to display the country and also i'm going to display uh, let's display the tags so let's say tags relationship and i'm going to say order by created art or updated ads what you like so i'm going to say created art and let's say get i'm going to get all of them uh, here we have ascending if you like if you don't like you can say descending and now we have all the events let's say a return the view welcome and pass here the events okay let's save this now one more time let's open the main plate here we have the class min head screen and that's it so to this one i'm going to add some classes so there's a class to be max width of a 7 excel and mx auto and also i'm going to say margin top of uh, four okay now let's go in here show code or we can just copy what we have inside and I'm going to paste it inside the welcome blade so let's paste what we have copied save and let's see on the browser what we have now if I come here and refresh yeah from the block and yeah here it is now we can make a forest loop and display the events so let's do that we need only one card we have this card here so let's cut this and remove everything else and inside now i'm going to say for each dollar sign events as event and now paste that card here let's save also if you want to leave this uh h1 or h2 what you do yeah h1 so let's refresh now we have only five because only five events we have and let's say all events here and now let's display first the image so inside here now we can say double curly braces and use the asset and inside the asset we can say slash storage slash and concatenate the dollar sign event image okay for alt i'm going to add the title of the event so let's say dollar sign event title and for the h1 i'm going to display the title also so dollar sign event title here let's say for now and let's see on the browser yeah we have something like this we have the title here we can add the created ad but before that let's say we have here flex and flex call and justify between so let's copy the span and paste it down there so we have two of them okay it is one and two and what i do what i want to do now is in here i'm going to display the country the country name so dollar sign is and country 
name and let's save and yeah we have Greece here as you can see and in here I'm going to make a for each so let's make for each dollar sign event tags as a tag and I'm going to display the tag name so let's say dollar sign tag name here let's save and yeah here it is we have Laravel and Vue.js we need to make some changes on the classes so I'm going to add some classes here and if you want you can find on the github repository so just I'm going to add some classes and see you back okay friends this is the design for our page now as I said you can find more beautiful cards and a beautiful design but this is not for the design this is how to create something some application like this and if I open the controller so the welcome controller here I had make this get but because we don't have many events but if you like you can make a pagination and make a pagination here okay that's it about this video and in the next video we are going to work with the event show page so see you there